Cash value in a whole life insurance policy works exactly like a line of credit. So if you're familiar with any sorts of line of credits, such as a business line of credit, a HELOC, credit card, bargain against a brokerage account, they all work exactly the same from a functionality standpoint. You have a dollar amount that you can essentially borrow to go use for a different activity. That is how life insurance cash value works. Now, the main differences between this line of credit and other lines of credits is the characteristics around them. For instance, a life insurance line of credit can't be frozen like a HELOC. This line of credit can't lose value like if it down market happens, either your brokerage account or in real estate, the loan rates on this are a whole lot lower than something like a credit card. When you start looking at the loan rates of a credit card being at 26% versus the loan rates today between five and 6% with a life insurance product. And on top of all of that, this line of credit has a death benefit attached to it as well. Now the death benefit isn't necessarily the cash value we're talking about. Now, the death benefit is super powerful to pass down to the next generation for legacy purposes. None of those other lines of credit have that built into it. So when you start to think about how does the cash value in life insurance insurance work. Think of it as something that's very familiar to you. If you're a realtor or a real estate investor, think of it a HELOC. If you're someone that has a credit card, uses a credit card on a daily basis, think of a credit card. When you're a business owner and you have a business line of credit, think of that. That is all cash value and life insurance is. Lastly, one of the most profound characteristics about this line of credit versus others is it has compounding interest that you can't lose money in, which means that you can borrow against it more and more, go buy other assets. The worst thing that can happen is when you need access to capital and that capital disappears because it's exposed to something like the market. If the market goes down 50%, you now have 50% less money to be able to go use for other assets when all other assets are also on discount. If you think about it, majority of the assets are correlated and work together. When the real estate market goes down, so is the stock market. When the stock market goes down, well, obviously the real estate market's down. And if that's the case, you want access to as much capital as possible. And if I have a vehicle that isn't exposed to the market and actually increases the same year all other asset classes go down, now that means I have access to more capital to be able to go leverage, to go use, for other assets that are on discount at that moment. So again, when thinking about how cash value and life insurance works, just think of it like a line of credit.